Liam, it's good to get the first pre-season game under the belt, I suppose, here at Radcliffe tonight. How do you think it went? Yeah, it's, it's always nice to get a touch of the ball. You know, they have waited after a couple of weeks. Uh, we've had a little in-house game amongst ourselves, but obviously it's all about gearing up to the 4th of August, so it's probably what, what you'd normally expect. In terms of these early pre-season games, for a manager, what's the focus mainly? Is it mainly fitness, sharpness? Is it about the players getting a feel for the team? Just getting through without inj any injuries. They do a lot of fitness work. Uh, I said my sides always do anyway, so you know, it was getting through. I would imagine would start pretty leg heavy because that's what it's always tended to do. Uh, but again, you know, you don't want someone getting a pull or a tweak, or you know, especially after doing two or three good weeks of work. You mentioned the fitness work. Uh, the lads have been in for a few weeks now. Can you give us an idea of the sort of work they've been doing and how it's gone? Well, it's gone. It's gone all right up to now. Fitness-wise, they, they look okay. Uh, they probably need to bring it down from. You'd probably start off the longest one. They'd do is 12 minutes, but then they're doing lots of other four-minute runs and stuff like that. And, and then they'll do lots of pitch laps. We've done days on the track. Tomorrow we're on the beach. So the, 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 there's varieties, a bit of insanity thrown in, trying to vary. As I said, but all in all, it just gives them a good base of fitness. And then we've got to bring it down. The last two, three weeks is all about sharpness. Then, in terms of the squad, there's been quite a few new faces to the squad you inherited at the end of last season. Uh, some new faces, some returning faces, how do you assess the, the squad um, assembling so far? Well it's getting there, it's, it's getting to more, it's, it's trying to get a, a balance, it's trying to fight, find the right partnerships and that's not, you know, sometimes it's down, down the middle, the two centre halves, the two centre mids, the two forwards, but then the two wide players in terms of the, which full back suit, which wingers and you know, that'll all work itself out. I'm a great believer in pre-season, you actually don't play yourself in the team but you definitely play yourself out the team so you know, up to now, do I take much notice of the first couple of games? Not really. Uh, but obviously when you get to the stage where you can start playing 90 minute games you probably uh, there's an element you take more notice of organisation in terms of set plays, you take more organisation in terms of actually how you want to play on the pitch. Um, but as I said the first couple you just want to get through pretty safe, through the game unscathed. You know, we got a slight knock tonight, but not a major. A few weeks ago, as you say, until the season starts. Do you expect to be busy in terms of any comings and goings in that time? I just think comings in, comings in, you'd always look at comings in if it if something comes up which is better than what you've got and, and it, it's part of the budget. Uh, going out, people will go out, natural wastage, you know, some people don't think they're going to get enough game time, other people, a couple of the younger ones will go out on loan because they can't afford not to be playing, uh, because that's all about the developments, uh, so to answer, yeah, on both ways, yeah, big possibility. In terms of players coming in at this stage, would you say, have you got players earmarked, positions earmarked, or is it just a case of seeing what's out there? Well, as I said, if someone come, be come in better than than anyone in the right position. Yeah, if they were better than what we are, we'd have to look to do it. If we could do it, great. If we can't, understandable. If we've got to actually make free up funds to actually do it, well, you know, again, that's something else we've got to look at. Yeah, and just finally, you mentioned uh, the session on the beach that you got planned tomorrow. You can you give us an idea of what you've got planned in the coming weeks as the season approaches? Yeah, as, I suppose that we're trying to get a, a lot of sort of like short periods of game time in them. So we've got a game on Friday night, then at Witness, then we play Liverpool at the Academy on Sunday, then we go to Witten, and then obviously the following Saturday it goes Barrow, which will then start becoming more of a game when you, you've got to start looking as if you're gonna something like what you should be. Uh, finish with Accrington and leading up to Berry. One thing I will say, the team of play against Berry won't be the team of play at Telford, which I say every time I've managed, because people get obsessed with the team you're going to play in the last friendly and they think that's the team when it's not. And, and the team as well, you know, we've got good options. So I don't see us picking a team for the first seven games of the season and it stays exactly the same. You know, there's got to be changes and Again, finding the balance and getting there, making sure everyone's got enough, a little bit of sharpness, and that's a lot of the time doesn't come for 10 games anyway. Thanks, Liam.